HTML supports event polymorphism. This allows you to define events in a supertype and have them processed by subtype classes. In this example, we can look at the location supertype class. See that it defines three events, mounted, mount, and spin up. And then we can look at the disk drive subtype class in its instance state machine and see that it assigns the spin up event to a transition. What occurs here is that an event defined in the supertype is sent to that class, in this case spin up. And then the architecture sees that the disk drive is a subtype and has assigned that event to a transition. So it will forward it from the supertype to the subtype class. In this case, Distrap. On the same level of subtypes, you can assign the same event, as only one subtype will exist per supertype, as it's a subtype of that class. So if we look at the tape drive instant state machine, we can again see that the spin up event has been assigned to its transition. The polymorphism supports the entire supertype subtype tree. So in this case, let's look at the mount event defined in the location supertype. And then we go down to the disk drive subtype, which happens to be a supertype of compact disk drive and video disk drive. If we look at these instant state machines, we can see that the mount event has been assigned to a transition here. And then again at the video disk drive state machine we can see that the mount event has been assigned. One thing to note is that once an event is consumed by a subtype at a certain level it can no longer be assigned to any other levels only at the same level. In this case disk drive tape drive can both assign the spin up event but the compact disk drive subtype will not have it available.